In this question, we're asked to express our answer with only negative exponents after we've simplified 3m to the 8th, n to the 12th, all over m squared, n cubed, the quantity raised to the third power. Here we notice that as the problem is written, nothing can be simplified, and all the like terms have already been condensed into their simplest forms. So we start by applying the product to the power rule to open up this set of parentheses. There's a product here that's being raised to a power. That means that both m squared and n cubed will be raised to the third power. Now that we have a power raised to another power, we multiply the two of these together and get m to the sixth in the denominator and n to the ninth. Two times three is six, three times three is nine. The numerator just came along for the ride. It has not been touched yet. Now at this stage, we see that no further rearrangement is needed because there are no uh, terms in the numerator or in the denominator that can be combined or simplified to give a single base. So at this stage, we just use the quotient rule. The three comes as it is because there's nothing dividing it in the denominator. m to the eighth divided by m to the sixth is going to be m squared. When bases are same and we're dividing, we subtract exponents, top minus bottom. Top exponent is eight, bottom exponent is six, which yields m squared. n to the 12th over n to the ninth Again, bases are same, we're dividing. Top power minus bottom power will give us n to the third. Now had the question said, write your answer with only positive exponents, we would have stopped here. But since the question is asking for the answer in negative exponents, we have to use the negative power rule and move everything to the denominator. When we move all the terms to the denominator, the 3 to the 1, which is here, will change to 3 to a negative 1. m squared will change to m to the negative 2. n cubed will change to n to the negative 3.